From long hollow fangs to bizarre horns and potent venom, here are 16 striking facts about viper snakes. Number 16. What's in a name? Think of the word viper and chances are the image of a serpent striking with a venomous bite comes to mind. While the term is now firmly linked with the reptiles, it was actually taken from the Latin word vipera, which refers to viviparity or the process of giving live birth as opposed to laying eggs. That is a common trait in most vipers, but it's not shared in the majority of snakes overall. Number 15. Mean Greens Vipers can show up in diverse colours, and that includes green. In fact, there are several species that are identified as green vipers. They include Africa's Great Lakes Bush Viper and the ruby-eyed green pit viper native to Southeast Asia. The best known green viper is probably the white-lipped viper. That animal is also native to Southeast Asia and have white jaws that sharply contrast with their yellow eyes and Kelly green coloration. Number 14. Land, Trees and Water Vipers can be arboreal, living in trees, like Matilda's horned viper found in Tanzania. All the reptiles can dwell on the ground like the common adder or the gaboon viper, which we'll mention in a few segments' time. And these critters can even be at home in the water. The cottonmouth or water moccasin is the world's only semi-aquatic viper. It favours lakes and streams of the southeastern US and is known as a strong swimmer. Number 13. Physical Types Vipers typically have stocky bodies with short tails. Their heads have a triangular shape due to the location of their venom glands. Most species have pupils that are vertically shaped and covers most of the eye. Since they're nocturnal animals, those pupils allow them to see better in the dark. And their bodies are covered in keeled scales, meaning that they're ridged, not smooth. A great example of such is the hairy bush viper from Africa. Its dorsal scales are so extremely keeled that they look like bristles. Number 12. Viper Venom These snakes produce venom that is strong enough to induce severe pain, intense swelling and prevent the blood from clotting. Necrosis or cell death and decay is another effect. When it comes to how much venom is injected, it depends on several factors including the size and species of the snake involved. Larger specimens tend to inject much more venom, while certain species can strike multiple times over a short period. They can actually decide how much venom they want to inject according to the prey involved. Sometimes they'll deliver a dry bite in order to save their venom. But any viper bite requires prompt medical attention. Even so, in extreme cases, an affected limb might have to be amputated. Number 11. Strength in Numbers did you know there are more than 200 species of vipers? That includes well-known specimens like cottonmouths, bushmasters and rattlesnakes like the western diamondback. They're widespread around the globe, with Antarctica and Madagascar being among the few places they're absent. Some of those serpents, including the three we just mentioned, are identified as pit vipers, so we'll focus on them next. Number 10. Pit Vipers Vipers are typically placed into two groups, pit vipers and old world vipers. Most sources consider pit vipers to be a viper subfamily. They can be found from desert to rainforest environments and include rattlesnakes and fur de lancers among other species. These creatures get their common name from the pit organs that are located on both sides of their head. The organ is sensitive to infrared radiation and allows the snake to receive a type of heat image of their warm-blooded prey. That enables them to make strikes that are more accurate and deadly. Number 9. Prey Localization Did you know that vipers can actually track down their prey after biting them? While their venom takes longer to immobilize the victim, it contains certain proteins that allow the snakes to keep tabs on their potential meal. It's a vital adaptation that experts call prey localization and has resulted in the rattlesnake's familiar strike and release bite behavior. After the prey dies, the snake will use its sense of smell to locate it. The process can be an advantage for the snake since it keeps contact with potentially dangerous prey animals to a minimum. Number 8. Size Matters 
On average, these reptiles can range in size from 10 inches, 25 centimeters for dwarf vipers, up to around 10 feet or three plus meters. The longest specimens are Bushmasters found in South America. In fact, this species is usually recognized as the largest of all vipers, with one specimen documented with a length of 12 feet, 3.6 meters. That also makes it the longest venomous snake found in the Western Hemisphere. Wildlife biologists say these are the only vipers known to lay eggs. Number 7. Appearances can be deceiving. Compared to other snakes, vipers can sometimes appear sluggish. That's because they're more inclined to protect themselves by blending into the environment instead of quickly moving away from a threat. It's also because vipers are typically ambush predators. Once they've determined where a prey is most likely to be, the animals just sit patiently and wait. But they can move quickly when they want to. Experts say that the African puff adder can strike within a quarter of a second. Did you know that species is said to be responsible for more snake bite fatalities in Africa than any other snake? Number 6. Prey So what's typically on the menu for these reptiles? Depending on their size, vipers can consume birds, lizards, eggs and small mammals. If the prey is dead, they'll just swallow it in one go. That's made possible by the snake's efficient digestive system. In addition to killing their prey, the viper's venom makes the meal more digestible by breaking down the prey animal's proteins and acids. Number 5. Predators Now that you know what vipers like to eat, that begs the question of what creatures like to eat vipers. Actually, vipers and snakes in general have more predators than you might have guessed. And the reptile's number one enemy is probably birds. Owls, hawks, and falcons are among those that will swoop down on snakes. Vipers also have to contend with other snake species wanting to have them for dinner, literally. Among mammals, the mongoose is known for its efficiency in thinning out the snake population. And carnivores like the honey badger are immune to cobra venom in particular, and has a nearly impenetrable hide. Those beasts will take on just about any snake, regardless of its size or species. Number 4. Blink of an Eyelash As we've seen, vipers have a number of strange members in their family. We've noted a few of them already, so we'll list a couple more. The Eyelash Pit Viper is an arboreal serpent found in Central and South America. The common name comes from the pointed scales over their eyes that can resemble eyelashes. They can show up in some vivid colours including yellow, silver, purple and green. Experts say the coloration can allow them to blend in with flowers or banana bunches. The exact purpose of those so-called eyelashes is still a mystery. What do you think? Number 3. Horned Vipers No surprise that these animals get their name from the horn-like scales that project from their faces. Several snakes are identified as such, and the majority are located in Africa and the Middle East. The most extreme examples might be the Desert Horned Viper and the aptly named Many Horned Adder. All species have a horn positioned over each eye, except for one animal. The horn-nosed viper has a single horn located above the snout. It's also unique in that those reptiles are found in Europe and in parts of Asia. As for those horns, they might help to protect the snake's eyes or even play a role in camouflage, but their exact purpose is still unknown. Tell us your theories in the comments. Number 2. Endangered Species Hard to imagine vipers being endangered, but such is the case. According to our sources, there were 57 species with a status ranging from vulnerable to critically endangered. Those creatures include some of the world's rarest vipers, like the Golden Lancehead, which is located only on a small island off the coast of Brazil. And the Santa Catalina rattlesnake, named for that island in the Gulf of Mexico, has seen its population decline due mainly to overcollecting. Did you know that this small rattlesnake does not have a rattle? Before heading to our number one serpent, we'd like to know how you enjoyed this episode all about vipers. Tell us in the comments below. Likewise, if you have any additional facts about these creatures, share those too. And keep up to date with our new content by clicking on that big red subscribe button. Cheers! Number one. Thanks for everything. 
All vipers are known for being venomous and for having relatively large, hollow fangs that are hinged. That allows the animal to deliver deep bites to deliver their toxin. Maybe the deadliest example of this is the gaboon viper. It's native to Africa and has the longest known fangs of any snake, not just vipers. Their fangs measure about 2 inches long, that's 5 centimeters, and can inject the highest venom yield of any serpent. Did you know that these beasts can open their mouths almost 180 degrees to deliver a strike? Thanks so much for watching. Catch you in the next video.